Hi there, my name's Andy Young and I'm one of the automotive lecturers down at Unitech in Auckland, New Zealand and welcome to my Andy Mechanic YouTube channel. Okay, uh, on this short video, it's another one in the series covering the saga on the RAV4 engine stripped down, rebuild, measurements, all that kind of stuff. And um, I've no idea what episode it is, I soon forget, it'll be on the title. This one is going to cover how to measure a big end journal on the crankshaft. And you've got to take four measurements. And uh, this is what it's all about. Now you do need to have the manufacturer's spec. Find that before you even think about doing this kind of stuff. Because without it, you've got no real idea what's going on. A bit windy today. Okay, so we'll crack on. Uh, you make, need to make sure that the journal is nice and clean before you start and that you've got a calibrated micrometer because this is pretty accurate reading stuff. Okay, off we go. Right, this is one of the four big end journals. And we need to take four measurements, like I said earlier on. And we're going to take a measurement across here in the horizontal plane and across here and then we're going to take two more measurements in the vertical plane. That's across there and across there. So up and down for those two and side to side for those two measurements. Okay, so let's see what we get for the first one. It's a little bit awkward with the camera here, so just forgive me a little bit. Right, what have we got? Now don't forget to use the ratchet on the end of your micrometer. Don't over tighten, otherwise you'll get the wrong kind of reading. Okay, and you should feel a little bit of drag. And make sure you can go all the way across the bearing, otherwise you won't quite have measured it across the highest point or the widest point, i.e. through the center line. Okay, let's see what that is. Second measurement. So this is horizontal again, side to side, and nearest me this time. Oh, that feels pretty good. Right. Let's see what we've got. Okay, so for the next two measurements, I'm just going to rotate the crank 90 degrees because it's just a lot easier for doing the measurements to camera like that. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I've moved the crankshaft around by 90 degrees, so I can do the horizontal again now. It's just a lot easier to take a reading that way. So that's the first reading. Let's see what we got on that one then. The third reading, I suppose, really, isn't it? Right. Right, last reading. Here we go. Now be sure to keep away from any uh, oil holes that are on the journal, otherwise, that'll give you a definite misread. There we go, let's see what that is. Okay, so looking at the specifications, uh, Mr. Toyota tells us that the big end bearing journal should be somewhere between 51.985 and 52 millimeters. Now, believe it or not, all those four measurements were exactly the same. Well, within the measurement capabilities of the micrometer anyway. Um, I got 51. 0.985 for all four measurements, which is pretty damn accurate to be honest. It's pretty good and, uh, and very consistent as well. So that big end bearing journal is within the specification. Now um, there is, again, just like with the main bearing journals, there is also um, what we call ovality and taper specifications. Now. We don't need to really concern ourselves on those because all four measurements are the same. But just out of interest, we've got uh, the same spec again as the mains, which is 0.02 millimeters, which is the tolerance for both ovality and taper. 
but we're bang on. All four measurements are the same, which is great. So there is no ovality and there is no taper on that particular journal. Excellent stuff. That's really good news. Okay, um, well that's how you take a measurement, uh, or four measurements in fact, to check the condition, uh, the wear, on a big end bearing journal on a crankshaft using a micrometer. You need the specs and you need a micrometer. Um, if you have any questions or comments then please do leave them down the bottom and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And uh, if you'd like to uh, subscribe to the channel then please do click the subscribe button but also go across and click on the little gear symbol and turn on notifications if you like and then that way you're going to get an email sent through whenever any new videos get uploaded. Okay, well, uh, we'll move on. There's lots more measurement checks for me to do, so I'm going to crack on with the next video. Um, thanks for watching. Cheers. I'll run out.